Hey guys, um, one of the questions we often get asked is how can you automate client tasks? So those are the tasks and the checklists that you can assign to your clients and get them to complete and set up the automatic reminders that nag them. Um, so at the moment, those can't be automated in their own right. But what we can do is we can build them into the workflow template so that we have a process there so that when it comes to creating the client tasks, it's actually much quicker uh, and much simpler to do so. So the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna start by building a template from scratch. Um, obviously, if you've already got an existing template that you want to use a client task for, so that could be something like bookkeeping, uh, year-end accounts, personal tax, onboarding, any of the workflows where you need to request information from your clients initially, uh, you might want to use a client task for that. So all you would need to do uh, is just go to that template, do exactly what I'm gonna do right now in this blank template and just move that step uh, to the very top, so this is the first thing that happens. But just for this example, uh, I want to call this one here client task example. Uh, we're going to say it's going to be a monthly task starting on the first Monday of every month. It recurs every month and the deadline is seven days later. So what we want to do is the very first step, we're going to create a task and we're going to call it create task, client task for client. And then in this instructions box, we're gonna dump absolutely everything that we would normally include within the client task itself. So we'll start with a heading. So it could be something like, please send me the following info. And we're gonna list out all the items that we would need to request. And the beauty of doing it this way actually is that <clears throat> if it's something like uh, personal tax where the information you need from your clients might differ on a client by client basis having this kind of master checklist here within the step means that when we come to assign it to the client we can tweak it and take things out that aren't as relevant before actually sending it to them whereas if this entire thing was automated uh, they would just get the entire checklist and a lot of that stuff might not be relevant to them so once we've got this list of items here you might want to add some more information in here maybe you want to add a link to a resource or a guide So you might include a link here. I'm just going to put it to Google for now. Uh, and then you might even choose to embed a video because um, of, often including videos just helps to explain things to the clients, adds a bit more of a dynamic to the relationship, makes things a little bit more personal. Uh, and you can do that by clicking on the video icon and embedding your video here. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it nice and simple. Um, I've got that step there. I'm just going to edit this again just to double check that I've got everything I need. Yeah, that's all good to go. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the template. And now I'm going to start a new task. So obviously I've got this set to recur every month, but I just want to force start it just for the purposes of showing you what this looks like in practice. Um, so I'm going to start new task. Uh, I'm going to start it for this client right here. And what that means is that when this task is created, and this is going to be part of a, a much bigger workflow, right? This isn't just going to be one standalone workflow with just this client task on. This is going to be, for example, the bookkeeping workflow where step number one is to create the client task and then steps two to 10 are the actual bookkeeping steps that you do. Um, but all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy all of this information here. So right click copy, go to client tasks on the tab on the top here. Paste that information in there, hit save, hit send to client, edit the email, define the auto reminder, let's say every seven days, click update, click send, and off we go. So literally, um, in a few seconds, we've taken that client task process, we've got the information, copy pasted it into an actual client task, hit send on the email, and that whole thing is now uh, been sent out to the client and the automatic reminders are set there in the background. So just a nice, easy way of, of building out that client task process without uh, without it being fully automated. Um, so just to kind of confirm what I was saying earlier, obviously you wouldn't do this in a standalone workflow. Um, in practice, what you might do is you might go to something like, um, I'm going to pick year-end accounts. And then you might have the very first step here where you've got this manual email requesting information. Instead of having that email going out, you might choose to do a client task. So you just do exactly the same, add subtask, create client task. You would add all the information that you would request for that in here, info here. 
just going to save that subtask and then you would move this all the way up to the top. So it's the very first thing. And then you could remove your email template. And then all that would happen is as soon as your yearly accounts jobs get created, you or somebody in the team goes in, copy pastes that information, creates the client task, hit send, uh, and we go into the whole process of requesting and reminding for the information. So uh, nice and easy tip, thought I'd share it with you. If you've got any questions or feedback, please let us know.